Now let's say you've been tasked with getting a sputum sample from somebody. Uh, one of the things that you're gonna utilize is a Lucan's trap in order to be able to do that. Uh, this comes in a sterile package and you wanna make sure that it maintains, uh, that it is sterile while, while you're utilizing that. So I would recommend a brand new Ballard inline suction catheter if you were gonna do that. Uh, don't necessarily have to replace the suction tubing, but I would make sure that you've got a fresh Ballard. So we'll pretend this is the first time this has been used on this particular patient. This is a brand new uh, suction catheter. So again, with an intubated, mechanically ventilated patient, go through, hit your O2 breath, hyper, hyper oxygenate your patient. All the while, you can be prepping your uh, uh, Lucan strap. Now, these come in various different uh, configurations. Some of these have this particular lid on it, and you send it, send it off with this lid. Others have a solid cap that you would put on it after you collect your sample. Uh, it just depends upon what your hospital orders, where, where you're at, and how you go about doing that. But nonetheless, you've got your uh, suction tubing, which is going to go here. So I would disconnect here. I've got vacuum on this. So I make sure this is nice and tight. Turn it uh, clockwise as tight. And then attach your suction tube in there. So now I can take and attach my Ballard here. So now when I'm ready to go in and do my suction pass, uh, after my patient's been hyper -oxygenated, I can do that. And earlier in the video, I showed you about uh, saline lavage. So if you're gonna utilize a saline, saline bullet, you can place this in your lavage port. Put that in your lavage port here. Uh, I'm not gonna squirt any saline down, down the mannequin, uh, but I'll show you why I've put that in place here momentarily. So, Again, before you make your suction pass, make sure that your catheter is in the unlocked position. And you also wanna make sure that this uh, Lucan strap stays in the upright position as best you can, because if you get a nice uh, uh, sample from your patient, you wouldn't want it to get sucked back up through the vacuum tube in here, because there's no one-way valve or nothing there to prevent that from happening. So keep this as upright as you can uh, when you go through and do your suction procedure. So again, tell the patient we're going to call them to cough a little bit. Big cough, big cough, big cough, big cough. You go down, you meet your resistance. You're going to come back. You'll feel uh, your suction. Now your sample, as opposed to being pulled back to this canister over here on the wall, is going to go inside of this canister. So once you feel relatively satisfied with what you've got, and you're going to have secretions that are left in this catheter here too. So what I would do, utilize your suction or your saline bullet, your lavage, apply suction, clear that uh, catheter out, and now you can remove that. I would go ahead and remove your suction source first. That way you don't lose anything. Pull this out, and that's all. I've already locked that back in place. Take that, crimp it over, put your label on it, send it down, and you can see the saline that's inside of that that I've already collected and can send off for a sputum sample now. Uh, go ahead and pull this out, recap your lavage port. You can assess breath sounds, heart rate, blood pressure, oxygenation, hit your O2 breaths again so that you've got your post-hyper-oxygenation going on, and that's how you collect a sputum sample with a Lucan strap.